Hi, I'm Havana Mahoney with PowerBox, and today we're going to walk you through the installation of a PowerBox DPC 15,000 lighting controller without having to hire an expensive electrician. The DPC 15000 is a 10 light controller that connects to 240 volt power and provides safety enhanced 240 volt timed power output, so you can precisely control your light cycles. There's a built in digital timer, an optional trigger cord port, a circuit protection device, and a digital ammeter to display current draw. The unit has a lot more features, and if you'd like to learn more, just visit our website. Here are the tools and parts we will need for the installation. They're all pretty basic, and if you don't have them already, you can definitely pick them up at your Home Depot. A drill, a flat blade screwdriver, wire cutters, a wire stripper, small level, a hammer or mallet, a marker, four screws, a 60 amp two pole circuit breaker, a cable entry clamp, and a voltmeter. The first thing we will do is mount the unit to the wall. We do this by holding the unit level against the wall and marking the positions for the first four screws, which we've done here. We fit the screws into the keyholes and then slide the box sideways to lock it into position. Then we tighten these screws. Now the box is firmly mounted to the wall. Next we'll connect it to a circuit at the panel. Anytime you're working with electricity, the motto is always safety first. Before performing any work, you must make sure the power feeding the panel is off. Most panels have a main disconnect switch like this, that we will switch off. This is a critical step. You never want to work on a panel while it is live. Now we're going to remove the panel's cover by removing these six screws. Oh, sorry, Mr. Jingles. Um, anyways. As an extra precaution, once the cover is removed, you'll want to use your voltmeter to test to make sure there is no live current at the panel. Never attempt to perform any work until you're 100% certain the power to the panel is off. We've removed one of the knockouts on the panel by tapping it out using our screwdriver and mallet in order to allow the main cable from the power box to enter. Next, we will feed the cable from the power box into the panel. Trim your wires to the appropriate length and strip the ends before bringing the cable in. The white wire will attach here to the neutral bus bar. Make sure you tighten that down super tight. There you go. And then the green wire will attach up here at the grounding bus bar. And don't forget to tighten this one as well. Super duper tight on all of these. Now we will grab our circuit breaker and insert the red and the black wires one into each of these lugs. So just gonna go ahead and pop those in here. And once again, we're gonna make sure that these are super duper tight. There we go. So now everything is super tight. Then we will install the breaker by hooking this end onto the panel and snapping the breaker down onto the bus bar. Now we can tighten the screws on the cable clamp. After this, I like to do a quick inspection and make sure everything is tight and looks proper. Once this is confirmed, we can reinstall the panel's cover and replace the screws. As you can see, we've knocked out a couple of tabs on the panel cover so we could make room for the circuit breaker. Okay, now let's see if it actually works. Make sure that the breaker on the power box is switched off and make sure the breaker at the panel is also switched off. Now turn the panel's main breaker back on. Then turn on the breaker that we just installed 
And lastly, turn on the breaker of the power box. As soon as we turn on the breaker for the power box, we see the ammeter display light up. That's a good sign. Open the front panel of the timer and slide the lower switch to on. Close the timer's panel and then press on it like a button. You should hear this clunk of the box turning on and we will also see the indicator lights here on the ammeter come on. That's it. We've completed the installation of the Powerbox DPC 15000. As you can see, there's really not much to it. I mean, honestly, if I can do it, you will definitely be able to do it. <laughs> Just remember to read all of the instructions before installing and take your time to make sure all of your connections are super tight. I hope you enjoyed the video and on behalf of everyone at Powerbox, thanks for watching and be sure to view the next video in this series, Installing Powerbox Ballasts. Bye.